uh, nervous, <laughs> excited, and emotional. I'm gonna cry, <laughs> and she's gonna laugh at me, and then she's probably gonna cry afterwards, but it won't be the first or the last time that I've cried today either. Michael's totally gonna cry. <laughs> totally gonna cry. Um, I may awkwardly laugh because I do that sometimes, <laughs> um, but he's definitely gonna cry. Okay, be ready to around. You can turn around. <laughs> Rachel, tonight I have never felt more confident in any decision I have ever made. Everybody knows that a guy like me isn't supposed to find a girl like you. My dear Sunshine, you have a deep, kind soul. You enjoy the ornery, but when you give a glimpse of your kind-hearted soul, it melts my heart. Your ability to make me laugh gives me butterflies. I love that we are starting a relationship with the world and putting our faith in God. On a personal note with Rachel, I've known Rachel for 18 years. Don't start crying, you'll set me off. I've known Rachel for 18 years and in that time I became Rachel's stepdad. And the one special thing about you, you never made me feel Like you, I was just your stepdad. You're a wonderful, wonderful woman, a big heart. So thank you very much for that. Thank you for supporting me through graduate school. I am still not sure how I survived, but I know that I did it because of you and your endless support and putting Georgetown before yourself. My favorite memory of you has to be when you cro when you walked across that stage at Georgetown. For many, that resembled hard work and dedication, but for me, that resembled overcoming all of your battles prior to that day and finishing on top. But more importantly, not giving up when a lot of people would have. I know your dad would be so proud of you. Michael, I have known for two years, and uh, Michael seems to be a nice, kind, gentle, generous man. I may be wrong, you guys have... <laughs> That's what I see. I vow to always love you even when you annoy the heck out of me. I vow to put our marriage before anyone or anything else in this world. I vow to always change the thermostat behind your back because I am always cold. But more than anything, but more than anything, I vow to give you all of me for the rest of our lives. There are no words to describe how much I love you. For the very first time, I introduce to you Michael and Rachel, Mr. and Mrs. Shoemaker. Now, just, just, just one more second, just one more second. <laughs> Michael, who is this beautiful woman next to you? My wife. This is my wife. <laughs> Rachel, who is this fine looking gentleman next to you? This is my husband. <laughs> You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Lastly, how lucky am I to be gaining such awesome parents? <laughs> My mom's gonna love that. They have shown me just how far a helping hand can go in this world, to never take life too seriously, and it won't matter in 10 years, but more importantly, to always love one another. They created the person you are today, and I will always honor in what they have achieved in you. I can't wait to love you forever as my wife, Michael. You make life so wonderful and I can't imagine doing life with anyone else. I love you more than I've ever found a way to say to you, your wife, Rachel. There's no doubt about it, you two have made each other You're perfect. So I would like to offer a toast to these two guys. Grab a glass, this is the new Mr. and Mrs. Schumacher.